Hi guys, welcome to Learn Maths tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at rationalising the denominator. So if you take a quick overview, a third is known as an irrational number, meaning that it cannot be represented by a fraction or a whole number, and tends to be represented by the square root or sometimes even the cubed root. Whereas a rational number can be expressed as a whole number, like 2, or a fraction such as, say, a quarter. Whereas a rational denominator can be broken down as follows, because the rational denominator topic falls under thirds. So we know that we're going to have to be dealing with some form of third. Now, a rational number is a whole number i.e. it's not a number which has a square root. And the denominator is the bottom of a fraction. So if we put these two definitions together, what we mean is that when we rationalise the denominator, it simply means remove the square root sign from the bottom of the fraction and then simplify. So there is one rule that we must remember for both third questions, but imperatively for rationalising the denominator. And that is this rule here, that a third multiplied by itself, i.e. the exact same thing, will leave the value underneath the square root sign. The, the square root sign will disappear. And that's the rule that we want to exploit when we are rationalising the denominator. So if we take a look at question number one, question number one asks us to rationalise the denominator of 4 over root 5. So as it stands just now, this has an irrational denominator and we want to rationalise it. So what we've got to do is multiply, now whatever you do to the top, you must do to the bottom of the fraction at the same time. So if we multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 5, then this is what should happen. We get 4 root 5 over root 5 times root 5. Now, on the bottom, that is the rule that we had to remember. So the square root disappears from the 5. So we're left with 4 root 5 over 5. And that is how you rationalise the denominator. So if we take a look at the second example, this time we have 12 over root 2. So exactly the same thing as before. We will multiply the top and the bottom by the third, which is on the denominator, in this case is root 2. So we times top and bottom by root 2. We get 12 over root 2. Now, what you must be careful of is the word simplify here. If we were to leave this as it is, we would lose the final mark for simplification. Because here, we can simplify the 12 and the 2. Nothing to do with the root 2, the 12 and the 2. So that becomes 12 divided by 2, which would give you 6 root 2. And that is your final answer. I'll put links in the description to solving thirds and introduction to thirds. But in terms of rationalising a denominator, that is pretty much all you have to know is exploiting that rule. That a third multiplied by itself, the square root sign disappears. It removes it completely. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video.